Today, Jake the Snake Woods joins the Prank Patrol. His mission, to become a martial arts machine that'll generate enough power to light up the Northern Hemisphere. Meet Jake Woods, one of our youngest pranksters to date. Jake is an active and creative nine-year-old from Newcastle who loves nothing more than to sing, dance and act. One of Jake's favourite hobbies is going to karate. He's been doing this for two years and is a green belt, which in my book means he shouldn't be messed with. Jake Woods, definitely find him. That's him! Let's go get it. Jake Woods? Yeah? How would you like to make your dream prank come true? You bet. And congratulations, you are the newest member of the prank patrol. You're going to need to put this on. There you go. Hi, Dad, you all right? Hi, you all right? You're also going to need this. That is your pasta prank. Dad, we're going to need him for a couple of hours. Is that all right? No problem. Mum, give us a cuddle. Oh. All right. Jake, we've got lots to do. Follow me. The target of Jake's prank is his entire class of karate students. Are you nuts, Jake? Some of these kids are black belts. Now, Jake thinks it would be hilarious to prank the whole of his class, as they would never suspect little him. Well, he may be small, but boy, does this kid think big. And luckily for him, we thrive on big ideas. So, Jake, you want to pull a prank on an entire karate class, am I right? Yes. Um, we've done two people before, we've pranked three people before, we've never pranked a class of people. Is there a particular reason why? Because I'm quite small and I'm not sure about this, but I think you might think I'm not very strong and I can't do my moves very well. You're in the right place. Prank Patrol can help you with this. And you don't need a black belt to get in here, but you do need a bit of motivation and an idea as well. The motivation we've got, uh, people are telling you that you're small and you're not very strong, so that's the motivation to make you want to prank them. We now need to have a think about how we can prank an entire class of students. Well, maybe you could make me, like, super strong. Yeah. Maybe with, um, an energy drink. Oh, a bit like Popeye, when he eats spinach. I like the idea. OK, then, so you're going to be in front of a class of students. You're going to have some of this energy drink. You're now super strong, but no-one knows that until you prove it. So how are you going to show that you're super strong? What, break things? Maybe a brick? Maybe, yeah, break boards and yeah. take down big guys. You've got to take down big guys. That is a must. And maybe kick down a door while you're at it. I love it. Give me a high-five karate chop. Yeah. Yo, and while I go and see a doctor, let's see what your family think. He's always been a prankster, always doing jokes on me as well, things with hair and all sorts, and I think he'll do a marvellous job. He'll put his all into it and he'll do a good convincing uh, prank with everybody. Wow, I wouldn't like to be on the end of that. And Grandad getting involved as well, that's very nice, isn't it? How are you feeling? Great. Well, we've got a lot to do, mate. Should we get training? Yeah. Let's get to it. Ninjas, take us to Prank HQ. So, here we are, Jake. Welcome to Prank HQ. What do you think? It's great. It's cool, isn't it? Now, this is where your prank is going to get brought to life. Oh, and the man of the moment, this is Lee, our special effects expert, who's going to help you make all the props Hi. you need, OK? Hi, guys. Hi, Lee. All right. Oh, oh, apparently, hang on what? a minute. What? There's something in your hair. Oh! Was it a blue bottle? Oh, no, it was a clear bottle. Yeah. You're wondering what's going on, aren't you? We're having a little joke with you here. It is, of course, oh. um, a clear bottle that's made of sugar glass. Completely harmless, but very oh. effective. We're going to make loads cool. more of these. We're going to need yeah, quite yeah. a lot for this yeah. prank. Okay. We've got a whole class of karate experts to, f to fool in this one, so can we do it? Absolutely. Are you ready? Yeah. Come on, then. That actually hurt a little bit. Now, listen, Jake. Pranking an entire karate class is going to take some doing. It's a huge prank. The first person we're going to speak to is Lee. So tell him what you'd like him to do, and we'll see if we can sort it out for you. 
We want to make a fake energy drink, which is going to give me superpowers, so I can break bricks and take down big guys. Right. OK, well, yeah, we can make some stuff that you can smash. How about we use some of that sugar glass that I smashed over Barney's head earlier on? Yeah, very good, very effective. We're also going to do um, sort of a marketing campaign as well, Lee, for this energy drink. But we need to get a, a name that's convincing enough, I think. Any ideas? What about, um, tough stuff? <laughs> no. no. Jiu Jitsu juice. No. 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 How about Kung Pao energy drink? Oh, yes. Kung Pao. It's the future of martial arts. Here he is, Barney Harwood from CBBC to talk about Kung Pao. Right, let's get to it. For this karate punk, there's a lot to be done. You need to work on that. Recipe for a prank. Robot school. Ever find that your schoolmates act like a bunch of robots? Do you want to program them? Well, you can with this week's recipe. All you need is a photocopier and a handmade sign. Just write, please use other door on a piece of paper. And draw an arrow pointing to the right. Then make enough copies so you can tape a sign on each and every door leading into your school. You should do this in the morning before anyone arrives. And then just sit back and watch as your schoolmate robots go round and round and round and... Well, you get the idea. I'm a little concerned. I left Lee and Jake before to make some props for our karate prank. And I think the karate hoo-ha talk might have gone to Lee's head a little bit. He's about to break a stone slab using his bare hands, and he's got no martial arts experience. I repeat, no martial arts experience. What? Why doesn't someone tell him that? Hang on a minute, hang on, whoa. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Barney, don't worry, I've got my white belt. Eric, hey, come on, out the way. OK. Cool! I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess that that wasn't a real brick, was it? Oh, no. Fantastic. It looks really good, though. What do you think, Jake? It's very effective. Yeah! Definitely what we need as well to make a class load of karate students think that you have got what it takes to smash things up. So can we make some? Using a mixture of water, bicarbonate of soda, black powder paint and plaster of Paris, Lee helped Jake to make a brick that he could smash in front of his entire karate class. And there's your brick. Let's go test it out. Hello, I am Grandmaster Barney and this is my best student, Jake. We are now going to find out if these bricks will smash. OK, after three. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> oh, yes. And the bow. How are you feeling? Excellent. Should we go and find some more stuff to smash? Cool. Let's do it. Now, no martial arts show of strength is ever complete without a guy punching his way through a block of wood. Have a look at that. Look how thick that is. Jake, do you reckon you could punch through that? No. Do you want to have a go anyway? You might be quite surprised. See what you can do. What do you know? The super strength kicks in and you've broken the wood in half. I'm sorry to say, though, it wasn't actually you that did that. It was, it was more what I was doing. Let me let you into a secret here. This is one of those movie techniques that I'm going to teach you now. What they do is they saw an ordinary piece of wood in half and then glue it very lightly so that all you need to do is give it a quick tap and there you have it. It breaks in half. Very effective, isn't it? Do you reckon your mates will fall for it? Yeah. I reckon they will. It looks brilliant. And it works with any piece of wood. You can, you know, I'll show you. I'll have a go as well. You ready? Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's not been cut in half. What's going on? I think I know. Oh, oh ninjas. Oh, you cheeky. Oh, yeah, nice one, our kid. Yeah, <laughs> well done. With the fake bricks and wooden blocks rigged and ready for Jake to smash, it was time to create the source of his amazing power, Kung Pao, using lots of healthy ingredients, of course. We also created a rival energy drink that Jake and I called Carrot Tea. Ooh, I know which one I'd rather drink. So we've done on the creative side, but now we need to find out what your acting's like. Are you ready for this? Yes. Follow me. Now this, Jake, is breakaway glass. It's made of sugar. 
It doesn't hurt when it hits you on the head because they use it in movies for that old bottle on the head gag. Now, I've heard that you like acting. Yeah. Right, consider this your first screen test. I'm now going to hit you over the head with this bottle and I want you to act. I want you to tell me that it hurts, okay? I've got to feel it. Tell me, baby, tell me it hurts. And your only line is, ah, oh, my head. Can All you right. deal with that? Yes. All right, then, here we go. Take one. Ah, my head. Take two. Ah, ah. Take three. I'm sorry, I know you're my friend. I'm, I'm... Take 37. Come on then, Johnny Depp. Ow, 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 ow. I think I'm gonna faint. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that you've got the lines down. I'm very impressed with the acting skills, but what about the moves? Have you got those? Because for this prank, you've got to learn how to fight. How do you feel about that? Excellent. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hiya. OK, then, in that case, ninjas, take us to your top secret training location. It's quick. Jake, I think it's that top secret. Even I don't get to see it. We're off to meet Chris Jones. Now, Chris is a professional stuntman, martial artist and fight choreographer who has worked on loads of action movies. Oh, thanks, ninjas. Hey, Chris, Hi. how are you doing? This is Jake. Hi. Hi. Jake, this is Chris. Now, we need to teach Jake how to fight and make it look realistic. Can we do that? Sure. Um, first thing, I think I have to change the clothes. OK, we can do that, can't we? Ready? Yeah. Hiya! Is this any better? Oh, that's much better. Right then, let's get to it. What are you going to do? Lots Chris is showing Jake how to fall, wrestle, kick, wow, I'm gonna throw <laughs> and punch. All the stunt fighting techniques that he would need for a prank of this magnitude. I set up a camera to film the rehearsals so that we could check our performances were going to be good enough to fool his entire karate class. <laughs> Great job, fellas. It's all recorded. How are we feeling? Good. Good Went fun. OK, didn't it, that? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's get back to Prank HQ and watch this and let's see if we can change anything. Excellent. And maybe uh, we can get a glass of Kung Pao. Oh, yeah. Exhausting. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, no more for you. <laughs> Grab him. And fly off. Yeah, we're like that. We're getting mm -hmm. we hits the wall. Yeah. Oh, that's a good kick. Ah, oh, it's very nice. Let's pause that for a second. Chris, what do you think? Um, it's looking good. Uh, it's going to be different in a life situation now. Uh, you got really on the ball. What do you think, Jake? You up for it? Yeah, I'm great and I'm ready. Are you? Yeah. Let's get out of this sweaty gear then, shall we, and get to the prank location. Ninjas, load the van. Hey! Oh. So, here we are. This is where the prank is going to go down. Now, Jake recognises this place already because this is where he has his karate lessons. Now, how are you feeling about today, Jake? I'm really excited. Do you think your mates are going to fall for it? Definitely. I hope so. They're only half an hour away, so let's go and check out the prank room. Quick. Oh, yes. Jake, look at this. Whoa. How cool is that? It's all set up. The drinks are there, the glasses, the boxes. Nice work, ninjas. Now, this is the part of the show, Jake, where we make the phone call to the prankee yeah. and tell them what they're going to be involved in. But because there's 20 classmates, that's a lot of phone calls, isn't it? So we've taken a different approach this time, and we've done one of those. Tell everyone what that is. A flyer for Kung Pao Energy Drink. It's a flyer that invites your classmates to take part in a TV advert oh. for the Kung Pao Energy Drink, which is what we've told them they're doing here today. Now, there's still lots more to set up. Do you reckon they're going to fall for it? Yeah, definitely. I really hope so. Ninjas, plenty more to do. Come on, get to it. Chop, chop. <laughs> chop, chop. <laughs> I'm excited because I want to see the reaction on my friend's face and things and all that. And what, they're going to be, are they going to be scared or are they going to be laughing or anything? So is it going to go well or not? I'm thinking. <laughs> Listen, we're moments away from doing it, but before we do, I've got some words of encouragement from your family. Have a look at this. Jake, now have a great time, great karate, and give it some chop. I usually say to people, break a leg. But what I want to say is, break a plank. Ah, who are you? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Lovely. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Let's do it. So, how will the karate class react when Jake gets superhuman strength and starts dishing out large portions of chopped suey? Will Jake be able to pull the prank off? Prepare to be kung fooled by the prank patrol. Now, Jake here is about to pull off the prank of a lifetime, karate styly. How are you feeling? Excellent. Follow me over here and I'll talk you through it. Lots of lovely advertising all over the place, of course, for Kung Pao, our energy drink. That's Stuart, that's Chris, they're both in position. Thanks for that, fellas. And this is the energy drink in question. Look at that beauty. And what has it got in every bottle? 
A black belt power. A black belt of power in every bottle. You're going to see that in action a bit later when he goes mad. And when he goes mad, he's going to be smashing lots of things, including our sugar glass bottles. Remember those? We've got our bricks there in place. Of course, they're all fake. Yes. Our wood, our punch bag as well. Now, we're going to be capturing the amazement on your friends' faces using our cameras. Now, because we're filming a TV advert here today, well, that's what they think, we can have cameras in the room. Can you point them out for us, Jake? There's one there. Yep, that's our hidden one. There's another one there. Hello. There's one there, and there's one there. Hello, camera number four, and there's one right at the back, getting what they call in the business a huge wide shot. Are you all set for this, yeah? Yes! Are you excited? Yes! Nice one. Do you know what? This prank is going to be kicking. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, sorry. Um, have I split my pants? Just have a look. Nope, still together. Still together, really? I wonder what that was, then. Oh! Ninjas! <laughs> Look at us getting into the swing of things. I'm liking yeah. this, Jake. Now, listen, I've just heard, right, that your friends are only moments away. We are about to do this. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really excited. I can't wait to do my big part. I can't wait to see you in action, mate. You're going to be awesome. Now, I think today's also going to go down in history as one of the best pranking days ever. Not only are we trying to prank Matthew and Kieran, your mates, yes. but we're trying to prank the rest of the class as well. That's a lot of people. Never been done before. So are you ready? Yeah. Nice one. Hey, ninjas, you better get out of here and take the van with you as well. Cheers. Recipe for a prank. Time travel. Make your target an early riser with today's recipe. All you need to do is secretly reset the alarm clocks in your house forward one hour. Except for yours, of course. Make sure you switch off your target's alarm clock. Then, just wake up the same time you usually do and run into their room yelling, We're late for school! We're late for school! Just watch them run around like a headless chicken, frantically trying to get ready. The prank works best the day of a field trip or test, or something that actually makes your target want to get to school on time. What a great prank. Some would say it's alarming. <laughs> Prank's about to happen. I'm, I'm sort of hoping for it to go really well, and I'm feeling really excited. And I'm hoping it's just all going to go well, breaking the bricks and taking down the stump men. So the thing that I'm looking forward to the most will probably be breaking down the door. So cue the ninjas with those all important finishing touches. So, to recap, the blueprint for Jake's prank is one busted board, plus one smashed brick, times two beat up men, divided by one crushed glass, to the power of several servings of fake energy drink, all equaling one very frightened class. <gasps> okay, so the students are beginning to arrive, and I'm beginning to feel the butterflies. Let's just hope that Jake can keep his nerves in check. Okay, children, just come in and just. Sit down, please, on the mats. Now, that's Lynn. She's the karate class instructor. Now, she's in on the prank and is settling the students down just like she normally does so as not to arouse suspicion. I wonder if any of them realise what's about to happen. OK, thank you very much for coming, everybody. I'm glad you could all make it, cos today we're going to do a brand new television advert, especially for a soft drink, a brand new energy drink called Kung Pao. It's made especially for karate kids. So we've got the founders here today, we've got Chris and Stuart, and they're going to tell you a little bit more about it. So will you give them a big clap? Hi there, guys. Right then, my name's Chris, and this is Stuart. Uh, as well as both being black belts ourselves, we're also uh, founders of Kung Pao. It's energy drink here. Now, as you can see, we've got all our cameras here today, and our promotion team, um, just to cover something really exciting. Uh, rather than me going through what that is, though, um, I'm going to introduce somebody really special to you. Um, he's come all the way from CBBC, so I'd like you to give him a big round of applause, Mr. Barney Howard. Give him a round of applause. Hi, Sue. Hi. Hi, sir. Hello, Hello. 
Hello. So, as Stuart and Chris just said to you there, um, I'm here to talk about Kung Pao. It's an amazing new cool drink. I actually drink this now. I'm actually a, a third down at Taekwondo just from drinking this drink. It sounds hard to believe, I know, because you're putting all this training in. But I'm going to hopefully demonstrate to you today how powerful it is. Now, Kung Pao, unlike many other drinks, is 100% natural. We have a little saying that we worked on. It's, it's going back a few years mm. now, but it's 100% um, fruit, 100% booze. That's how it works. That's all the fruit in there, and all that is in one bottle of Kung Pao. And you can see on the, on the logo there, it says that it's got a black belt of power in every bottle. We're here today to make a TV advert, and Chris and Stuart have brought me along so that I can pick one of you out to star in the advert. Who wants to be on telly? A few hands there, that's a good sign. <laughs> OK, well, we're going to try... It's just sort of getting your lines right first. Now, we have a slogan, it's on the back wall there. Make your friends go wow with the power of Kung Pao! Can you do that? Come on, you're in a karate class, you know you can. OK, after three, one, two, three. Very nice, very nice. Now, before I talk a bit more about this amazing drink, I want to talk to you about our rival brand, and, uh, and that is that one in the green bottle there. It's called Carotee Energy. Has anyone tried this before? Anybody seen it before? It's basically trying to do exactly what Kung Pao does, except we don't think it does it as well, do we, no, really? No, not really. Um, I need a volunteer. Any volunteers? Go up the front. Do you want to come up? Give her a round of applause as she comes up. <laughs> Hello. Just stand here in the middle so we can all see you. What's your name? Georgia, hello, now, Georgia. Now, what Georgia doesn't know is that she's about to taste the most revolting energy drink that Jake and I made earlier at Prank HQ. Just try carotene and tell everybody what you think of the taste. Sweet. It's sweet. OK, would you drink that drink? You wouldn't. <laughs> oh, why not? Because it's a bit sweet and it doesn't have much taste. Doesn't have much taste to it. We did think that, didn't we? Yeah, see, this is what we've tried to go for, you see, with Kung Pao. We've given it lots of flavour, and it's very healthy as well, so it, it, you know, it suits both ends of the deal. Now, you don't like it because it's too sweet and it's got no taste, but it might work. You might now have energy from drinking it, so we're going to try and see if we can prove this. Um, could you get us a board there, fellas, please? Georgia, if you look at that board there, do you think you would be able to break that? No. You wouldn't be able to? Well, I mean, the people who make this claim that one sip and you would be able to. Would you like to try that out? Yeah? OK. Now we have to put gloves on, of course. It's very important yeah, to protect your hands whenever you're punching anything. You can't just run up to something and smack it, you can hurt yourself. So the gloves are going on for protection. And to confirm, we all saw Georgia drinking carrot tea, yes? That was the drink that she had, okay. Georgia, be very careful, of course. That is a very solid piece of wood. I want you to punch and kia. Release that energy, okay? We'll give you a countdown. Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. That's a very, very hard piece of wood. Is your hand OK? Yeah. That's why you wear the gloves, you see, just so you've got a bit more protection. <laughs> a round of applause for Georgia for having a great effort. <laughs> OK, thank you for that. <laughs> thank you very much. There you go, and go and take Ouch. a seat. Thank you very much, Georgia. Now, uh, hopefully there, I've demonstrated that Carity, although it does talk a good game, it's, it's not actually what it says on the tin. What we're going to try and show you now is how powerful Kung Pao is. Can I have another volunteer, please? Now then, I wonder um, who I'll pick. Yes, you young man. Give him a round of applause as he comes up. <laughs> Hello, Paddy. All right, just stand here a sec. What's your name? Jake. Jake. How do you do, Jake? I'm Barney. Pleased to meet you. Now, Jake, same thing, except this time you're going to try Kung Pao, OK? It's really nice. It's taste strawberries. It's really nice. Strawberries. Do we like strawberries? Yeah. Would, we drink, would we drink a strawberry-flavoured drink? Yeah. We would. We're getting a few nods there. OK, that's good. You like that? Mm -hmm. Lovely stuff. Let's just put that down there for a second, then. Uh, we want to see if it's actually worked, OK? Are you able to break a board, do you think? I don't. Do you know what? I think we're that confident. I think we should go for a bigger one. Do you think Jake could break a bigger board? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Look at you, you look all worried. You're going, no, don't, don't break it. It'll be, it'll be OK, it's all right. We've got a glove for you as well, Jake, so we'll okay. protect your hand. Don't punch it too hard. But like I said, I've been drinking this, and I feel stronger, I can move faster, I don't feel pain as much as I used to. You know, there, there are lots of advantages of taking Kung Pao, and that's why I'm putting my name to it and doing this advert today. And, and I really do believe that Jake won't feel a thing, and I do honestly believe he will be able to break the board. And hopefully this will prove to you just how good this drink is. Jake, are you ready? OK, a three, ready? two, one as well, please, guys. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oof! And there you have it. A round of applause. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And there you have it. How cool is that? There you go, Jake. Absolutely well done, mate. You just, you just stay right there. That's, wow. That's so, of course, nuts. we're talking about two things now, aren't we? We're talking about Kung Pao being what? No, 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 no. Seriously, you can't drink any more than one. 
another thing about Kung Pao, you can only drink one glass a day. Any more than that. No, no, it's, it's, not, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. Honestly, seriously, mate, you can't... No, Jake, Jake, really, you can't have any more. You can't. You can't do it. I want more! Jeez. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 hang on. Calm down. No, come over here. Whoa! Seriously, right, just take your aggression out there. Calm down, calm down. Just a couple of punches. All right, guys, it's all right. He's, he's, he's taking out his energy, OK? He's getting rid of his energy on the bag. This is perfectly nice normal. Easy, that's it's perfectly nice fine. Nice and easy. It's OK. Oh, oh. Are you OK? Oh. Stu, are you all right? Can someone please control him? Can, sorry, can we control him, please? We need a bit of help oh. here, people. A bit of help. Whoa! I think we can actually work out what this is. Do you want to tell him? <laughs> You've just been framed by Crank Patrol. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. What a great show. OK, hands up. Who believed that it really gave him superpowers? <laughs> yes, that's what it's all about. Uh, shall we talk you through what happened there? Now, those glasses that Jake smashed were actually made of sugar glass. It's movie stuff. It's all pretend. That's why he was able to break it. You're not here for a TV advert. You're here for Prank Patrol. <laughs> and one final time, a huge round of applause for the best actor in the room, Jake. <laughs> well, and now you're going to do it, it? <laughs> it was nice just to give all the kids in my karate class a laugh, something to talk about. Did you believe Jake? Yeah, I thought he was crackers. When he smashed the glass, I thought it was... <laughs> Amazing. I thought I wanted a drink of it. He's just cheeky like that. To be honest, I've always thought of him as the smart, cunning little boy because he's dead cheeky and stuff. But I wouldn't think he'd do anything like this. It's unbelievable. And I think my karate class did believe me because they were pulling faces like this. <gasps> that break in the glasses thing was, was fantastic. He just picked him up and went for it. And we were actually shocked. If you, if you watch it back, you'll see Stuart. Stuart. Like that. I've never been thrown over a table at all, let alone by a nine-year-old. That was really funny, just seeing all that juice smash and the boxes crash. When he went through the door at the end, that was just classic. You can just go, hiya, and it just falls over. I'd buy Kung Pao, if I'm going to. I am frightened, because somehow or another, they're going to get me back. Do you know what? We just love it when a prank comes together. Next time on Prank Patrol, Chrissy Gill creates a very special Chinese cuisine to serve to her unsuspecting dad's search. She must be quackers.